Deer ticks, which can carry Lyme disease and other infections, are most active in the fall, and already the Maine CDC says it has seen more cases of Lyme compared to this time last year. This increase is happening despite hot and dry conditions this summer, which usually slow down tick activity. As News Center Maine's Vivian Lee explains, experts at the Maine Tick Lab want to know why. Simon Fink enjoys walking the trails at Bradbury Mountain State Park. Even with temperatures dropping as fall approaches, he doesn't let his guard down against deer ticks that carry Lyme. I wear some protective gear as well, you know, long socks and that kind of thing. Right now, experts say is the most active time of the year for ticks that carry tick-borne diseases. Adults are, are particularly active. It's the, the immature ticks from the midsummer have now turned into the, uh, the fall adults. Griffin Dill manages the University of Maine Cooperative Extension Tick Lab in Orono. He says the number of deer ticks will increase over the next several weeks, and that increase is expected to continue until temperatures drop below freezing for an extended period of time, which in recent years has been mid to late December. So they're looking for that third and final host so they can, they can take their last their last blood meal and produce eggs, reproduce. Out of the 2,143 deer tick samples sent to the lab this year, 48 to 51 percent tested positive for the bacteria that causes Lyme, a slight increase compared to last year. The number of samples collected from the public is about the same as last year, despite drought conditions over the summer. The drought didn't seem to really alter their uh, their behavior too, too much. Dill says deer ticks need high humidity, as much as 85% to thrive. Over the past several months, student researchers at UMO have been taking a closer look to try to come up with some answers. You know, with those drought conditions, does it does it change the uh, the questing behavior of the ticks to make them more more nocturnal? Back at Bradbury Mountain, Mink isn't surprised at the possibility ticks are adapting to a changing climate. They're pretty tenacious. <laughs> They're going to survive us all. <laughs> the, the ticks and the roaches. All the more reason, experts say, to wear protective clothing, use EPA register repellents, and do frequent tick checks anytime you head outdoors. In Powell Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.